A pair of crooks caught on camera stealing from a storage facility tonight. Eight on your side has the steps you can take to keep from becoming a victim. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Lee. And I'm Josh Benson. Thanks for being with us tonight. Well, Polk County Sheriff's Office detectives need your help tracking down the thieves who broke into a Lakeland storage facility and burglarized 40 of the units. It is a violating crime that happens all too often and one you can protect yourself against. Made on your side's Melissa Marino joins us now live at Socrum Storage in Lakeland. Melissa, now you have some tips for these folks, right? Yeah, that's right. Good evening. I just want to show you these thieves, they cut open the fence here at the storage and spent hours rummaging through people's units, but they were only able to get into some of them. Watch as this daring duo cuts through the fence at Socrum Storage. Faces covered. Once they're in, they get to work, targeting any and all storage units with locks they can cut. Any recollection whatsoever where Dad's art is? Bo Bovey took eight on your side along as she checked her storage unit, full of her late mother's belongings. Yeah, I was thinking it would be heartbreaking to come here and find out they violated my mother's memories. But relief, the crooks couldn't cut through her lock. That's the first thing detectives recommend. Purchase a disc lock because it's harder to cut through. The thieves only broke into units with padlocks, which they were able to remove with bolt cutters. If you have to store valuables, put those items furthest out of reach, hidden if you can. Also, take photos of what you're storing and make sure it's insured. Mike's wearing there. So our stuff all stacked up. Kim Roberts and her family weren't as lucky. The thieves cut through her padlock and stole two bikes from her unit. This makes you quite angry. Oh, absolutely makes me angry. I work every day. I work 50 plus hours a week. I work for everything I have. I may not have much, but I work every day and it frustrates me. Well, again, the pair broke into 40 storage, storage units, stealing everything from TVs, bikes, even a refrigerator. Detectives believe they loaded the stolen goods in a Chevy Avalanche, left, and then they came back a couple hours later and took another load of stolen stuff. Josh. Wow. We, we have been reporting and we have seen a lot of these thefts lately. Is there any chance that they could be connected? So I asked that very question. They are communicating the detectives with other departments, but as of now, they do not think it's related. Just an easy target. Yeah, just be aware if you have one of those units. Melissa Marino live in Lakeland for us today. Melissa, thank you.